What's up, LTD addicts? Let's talk about CSS Hero. CSS Hero is a WordPress plugin that lets you easily customize the look of any element on your website. And I do mean any element. Your header, your footer, even your WooCommerce product pages can all be stylized using CSS Hero. Now to celebrate the release of version four of their software, CSS Hero is currently offering a massive discount on their licenses, both the annual as well as the lifetime plans. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the software, show you how it works, and hopefully by the end, you'll be able to decide whether this is a useful tool for your WordPress development workflow. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dave from that LTD.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you want to follow along with my CSS Hero review, you can click the link in the description. That is the referral link for this channel, which means if you find this review helpful and you go on to make a purchase, it does kick us back a few bucks here at the channel. Helps us keep the lights on. Let's get into it. Here is CSS Hero version four. This just came out uh, a few days ago as of the making of this video. It's been in beta for several months, but it is finally out in the wild, highly anticipated among CSS Hero fans. 71,000 people are already using CSS Hero. Uh, as version four implies, this is not a brand new tool. It's been very regularly developed. Uh, it's got a great team behind it. So uh, that's very important. When you're looking at an LTD, you wanna know is the developer sticking around? Is this a quick cash grab or are they actually making a product they seem to care about? And for CSS Hero, I can say that they genuinely do care about it. They're adding new features pretty much constantly. Uh, so here are the pricing plans. Now the lifetime deal is over here on the right. Before you see the 599 get sticker shock and wanna close this window, you should know that that is not the price that is currently being offered. Uh, so there's a coupon code up here in the hello bar and CSS uh, Hero very frequently runs sales like this. So you'll actually be paying $249 for lifetime access and you get 999 sites. So if you're using this on client sites as well as your own sites, that's gonna be plenty to keep you busy for many years to come, I'm sure. Uh, and they do have annual plans. So if you don't need that many sites, you can grab uh, one of their lower price plans. You'll still get a healthy discount with this coupon code. So it's actually a reasonably affordable tool here, regardless of whether you go with an LTD or uh, one of their annual plans. They do often offer upgrades too. So maybe you buy uh, the starter site for 29 bucks. You can use a coupon code and knock a little bit of money off of that. Uh, and then later down the road, they might offer you an upgrade to the lifetime pro plan. So definitely check into that as well. Uh, it's 30 day return policy on this. Uh, no trying before you buy. You have to actually purchase it. You can give it a go. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. All right, so let's get into it. See how this thing works. I've got a WooCommerce website set up here. This is running the Astra theme. I've actually used this, this uh, website in several of my other videos, so it might look familiar. Um, and I've already got CSS Hero installed. You might notice I've also got Elementor installed here. So this is not replacing a page builder. It's simply another added layer to allow you to style elements that maybe aren't available to you inside of your page builder. To go ahead and start editing with CSS Hero, all I have to do is click this button and it'll open up the interface. Let's take a quick walkthrough of everything that we're seeing here. So uh, basically the use case is you see something on the page that you want to style, you click on it, and then you get some options over here for how you can affect it. Now I just clicked on this heading. So if I were to make a change to the heading over here, let's say I change the typography, it's actually going to change all of the headings and, and you can override that of course. I'll go ahead and change the font size. You can see all of the fonts are changing. I'm hit this little uh, delete button here and that will go away. If I want to only change this heading, I just right click on it and say only this element and then I can go ahead and change the, the font size for only that one and only it changes. Pretty cool, right? Now you might be thinking, well, why would you change the font size of a heading when you have Elementor? You're right. I wouldn't, this isn't a use case. I'm just kind of showing you how the software works. There are certainly gonna be times if you're using a page builder for everything, there's certainly gonna be times you need some custom CSS code and uh, CSS Hero can come to the rescue in that moment, right? So most of the time, you're still gonna be doing your basic layout inside of your page builder, uh, assuming that's your, your typical workflow. Uh, even if you know how to hand code, it's just so much faster to use a page builder and a tool like CSS Hero uh, that I don't see you know, why we'd, we'd really wanna do it any other way. Uh, I'm sure a purist out there will tell me that the code will be cleaner or something like that. But um, you know, modern workflows call for, for modern tools. And uh, let's go ahead and get back to the user interface here. Now, one thing I really like about CSS Hero, and I actually like if Elementor were to, alum, to incorporate a similar idea, is there's this little edit or navigate toggle button. 
and there's actually a key command to, to turn this on as well, but I'll go ahead and click it. When I click this, I can go ahead and navigate to another page. Let's say I want to look at women's jeans. Uh, now I can go ahead and choose edit. I've been able to change the page that I'm working on without clicking save, loading up the page, and then uh, navigating to the page I want, hitting edit with Elementor again and opening it up, right? So again, CSS Hero is not replacing Elementor, but this is a, that's a pretty cool feature and it would be really nice to see that incorporated into the page builders that we are all using as well. Okay, so let's get into this a little bit deeper and see uh, a bit more of the functionality. Sure, you can change a font size. You know, we don't really need a tool to do that. So how is this gonna shine for you? So of course, I'm here on this archive page or this category page for jeans. Let's go ahead and make some changes to it. So I'll just go ahead and say, select this paragraph. I can go over to the properties, uh, which are, you know, there's three different layers here. We've got properties, snippets, and animations. So we're going to stay in this properties category for the first part of this video. I'm going to go ahead and give this a background color, maybe make it kind of this light pinkish red color. Um, we can change the typography as we've already looked at. Let's go ahead and change the font. I'll just grab uh, kind of one at random here. Here's called Anonymous Pro. Uh, all right, so we've made a few changes. Obviously, it's not a visual improvement in my opinion, but this is a category page, right? So what I've just done is changed all of the category pages on my website. We're at jeans right now. Let's go to shirts. There it is, the changes are there. Let's go to men's jackets. The changes are there. So it was that quick, I was able to edit the template for my entire theme. Now that's pretty cool in my opinion. So I can make this live just by hitting save and publish. And then if we go back to the front end of the website and I navigate to those pages, you will see that the changes actually went live that fast. I didn't have to copy and paste any code. Uh, it was just kind of all implemented right from the get go. To see the actual code that's been changed, I can go over here to the inspector and I'm gonna get a nice code editor where I can actually go ahead and change this. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because I don't want it to keep, keep it the same and everything goes back to the default. I can hit save and publish and my site will be restored to its normal visual look. Now the same goes for your header and footer. Let's say I wanted to add an icon to one of my nav items. I could simply click on it, choose only this item, so it only affects, say, the home item, and then I can go over to snippets. Now snippets are groups of reusable edits that you can apply on the fly. You can create your own snippets, so it's kind of like a class. If you're used to CSS, you can think of it like a class. You make a bunch of changes and you can apply those changes by giving uh, this particular element a snippet. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use one of the presets, which is their icon set. So here are all the icons that they've got available to me. And I'm going to go ahead and find one that might be appropriate for a home page here. I can actually type in home here. And then I want to choose a color and a position. I actually want this to be on the left side. So I'll just type in left. And let's give this a little bit smaller size, maybe like 18 pixels. And uh, let's change the background color. How about to, uh, oh, I don't know, how about this red color? We'll hit okay, and then I'll apply. And there we go, I've got a little home icon next to the menu item home. I'll hit save and publish, and let's go ahead and check that out on the front end, just to show you that it does update across the entire website. It's not just that one particular page. Pretty cool stuff, right? So while we're talking about snippets, let's take a look at some of the other built-in snippets and then I'll show you how to create your own so that you can quickly reuse styles across your website. So I've selected jackets up here, which is the WooCommerce page title. And what the heck, let's make it look like a button. Hit this button, there we go. Uh, it's It's been applied, it's easy to remove it. I can either hit the remove button or hit the little trash can up here, which will remove all of the formatting to that element. Um, let's look at some other snippets. We could do things like background. This is actually pretty useful. You wanna maybe stylize things. Uh, here, this one has some graphics to it. Now, obviously, I need to change the colors to make this stand out. Um, we can change it to kind of more a solid color. You get the idea, there's some nice kind of built-in features make things look a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And now let's look at how to actually create our own snippet. So let's go back and let's stylize jackets uh, our own way. So I'm gonna go back up to the CSS properties here. Uh, let's see, the first thing I wanna do is maybe give this a little bit more spacing. Uh, let's add some overall padding. 
Uh, in fact, no, I don't want to add padding to the sides. I just want to add padding to the top. I'll add 30 uh, pixels of padding here and I'll add uh, maybe 30 pixels of padding to the bottom as well. So make it, things kind of stand out a little bit more. And let's go ahead and transform the type a little bit. I want this to be all caps. So under transform, I can go ahead and choose uppercase. And there we go. Now it's all caps. And maybe I want this to be uh, a little bit bigger font and probably a little bit heavier in weight. All right, so now it really clearly is uh, a headline. It's not gonna, no one's gonna miss that this section is about jackets. Okay, so what I do here is I click on, on this section, make sure it's selected, and then I can go right here to where it says store edits as snippet. I click that and I can give it a name and I'll say bold heading and I'll hit save. Now, anywhere else I want to apply this type of style, all I do is click on it and then I go over to my snippets section. Let's minimize this, get over to snippets. Under your snippets, there we go, I've got my new one called bold heading. I can click this and then all of a sudden, now because I didn't apply it to only that specific one, it went to all of them, which I will actually um, just undo that, right? Because we don't want that probably to apply to all of them. I'll go ahead and click on this particular one, say only this element, and then hit apply the bold heading and there we go. Now I've made that one particular heading on this page stand out with the same styling that I've already used, but I didn't have to copy and paste anything. It was just all stored for me. So that's a really nice function. Now, what about mobile responsiveness? If you go and you change the heading so it has a huge font size inside of desktop, isn't that gonna screw up everything for tablets and mobile view? Well, it doesn't have to. CSS Hero has you covered here as well. There are five preset breakpoints and you can actually add as many additional ones as you'd like. So right now we're looking at this all screen view, but the next tier down is up to 1024 pixels. So this would be a uh, tablet in landscape mode. So I can click on that and let's go ahead and change the font size here to be a little bit more uh, manageable for that screen size. And then I could go down to uh, uh, more of a, a tablet in uh, portrait mode and I can make it even smaller and then I could do phone in landscape mode and make it smaller and I could do uh, phone and uh, portrait mode and make it even smaller just to exaggerate the point. Now I've got five different breakpoints built in. Uh, you can't even do that in Elementor. So sometimes you're actually editing content in Elementor and you wish you had a way to add an additional breakpoint. This can do it for you. How about styling your login page? CSS Hero has you covered there as well. Simply go over to Tools, choose Style Login Page, and you can start clicking and styling to your heart's content. Let's get rid of this WordPress logo. I'm gonna go over under Properties and choose Extra. And from there, I can choose to display none, and that will actually just bump up the whole form. However, I could also have it display visibility hidden, and that in that case, I would still get that space where the logo was meant to be. Let's go ahead and add a background image. I'm gonna click on the background section here. I can tell it's the background because it says login body down below. And let's go back out to our properties, choose background and next to image, I'll hit the plus button. It's gonna actually link me up to Unsplash or of course I could use my WordPress media library as well. I have the option between Unsplash and the media library and I can go ahead and search for bicycle here. Uh, and I've got some bikes that pull up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, pull it into my website, choose it as large. And there we go, it's loaded up, but it's so big, I can't actually see it. No fear, I can choose the uh, cover version right here. And if I still wanted to position a little bit, there's a position selector. So maybe I could get it lined up just how I wanted. That simple. Now I'd like to maybe make this a little bit transparent. I think it'll just make it look kind of cool. So I'll choose the login form right here. And then I'm gonna go over to background and I can just use this little slider to make it uh, have a, a transparent look. And that looks pretty good. I can see my photo coming through. So right away, I'm able to make this login page look pretty snazzy in terms of, of you know what we're used to seeing in uh, WordPress login pages. This certainly looks a lot better. So there's one more part of the CSS menu we haven't touched on and that's animations. These are all on scroll animations. So as you scroll through a page, you can make something happen to an element. Let's grab this footer here and let's just make this fade in, real simple animation. You can see there's uh, quite a few of them. You can have it zoom in, zoom out. Um, let's just do fade and I'm actually gonna have uh, this have a little bit of a delay so that we can definitely see it. Let's give it a 500 
100 millisecond delay. And let's make the fade last uh, a good amount of time too, 1500 milliseconds, that'd be like one and a half seconds. I'll go ahead and hit save and publish and let's just go to the homepage here. Remember this is the footer, so it's gonna affect the entire theme. Uh, I can scroll down to the bottom and sure enough, there we go, the footer uh, fades in. So you can see there's some nice animations. If you're into animations, personally, I'm you know really not a fan of them all that much, but they are there and so you know if you're looking for the perfect way to display your content maybe that'll be useful to you we're approaching the end of this CSS Hero review, and I have to tell you a few things that are just flat out not working for me with it, uh, namely the undo and redo function. So if I select this heading right here and I change the font size, make this fairly large, and I go ahead and hit undo, no matter how hard I hit my mouse button, nothing happens. Uh, the same thing for the redo. Uh, so there's definitely a little bit of bug in the code here. Now I have used CSS Hero uh, in years past and the undo function worked just fine. So I know that this is a bug and something that, you know, they didn't just put the icon there for, for fun. Uh, I'm guessing this is either an, an error with, you know, this 4.0 version of the software, or maybe it's even a conflict with my hosting. I did try a couple different servers uh, and they both had the same error. So uh, I believe it's just a problem with their, their software. However, you know, just buyer beware, know that this will be something that likely needs to be fixed in the future. So there you have it. CSS Hero is a fast and flexible tool to edit your WordPress theme or any individual element on your website. As a non-developer myself, CSS Hero really becomes my hero as I'm working on clients' websites and I need to change the style and I don't have time to go into the, the Google Developer Console and find the particular class that I need to edit in CSS. CSS Hero makes it fast and easy and I don't need to think about it and I appreciate that. Now, the undo redo functionality being broken is a huge red flag. However, I know this developer's track record, so me personally, I'm able to overlook that and give it a higher score than I normally would for a developer that I wasn't familiar with. I'm pretty confident that the undo redo functionality will be fixed pretty quickly in a software update. So I'm gonna give this software a 9.1 out of 10. I think this is a really good tool for anybody who's working on websites on a day-to-day -day basis. If this review has been helpful to you and you are gonna go on to make a purchase, make sure you click the link in the description. That helps support the channel, kicks us back a few bucks here so I can continue to make LTD reviews like this one. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get notified when new reviews are posted. And I wanna know, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of CSS Hero? I know there are competitors out there. There are Yellow Pencil, there's Micro Themer. Let me know which one you're using to stylize your WordPress websites. All right, see you in the next review. Review.